Good morning, parents. Today we are here to learn a very, very important method which all the students struggle in some part of his academic life, how to master the multiplication table. So this is a very, very important chapter and we are having a very, very magical and fun way to learn tables from one to 100. After seeing this video, you will be able to assist your child to write any multiplication table and the fear and the trauma of tables will go from his or her mind. Let's start with. So suppose when we have to write table of two, then you teach a child how to double the number. So you keep some, suppose anything, you can try some grocery item like some vegetables, and then you start from number one. So one will be two when you double, two will be four. So just introduce the concept of doubling instead of mugging of two ones are two and two twos are four and two threes are six. Don't mug up, but teach the child doubling concept. So if he is multiplying with four, then he is doubling the number two times. Doubling it two times. Similarly, if he is multiplying the number by eight, he is doubling the number three times. So let's take an example. Suppose you have 12. 12 multiplied by 2. So you don't know. Then you just tease the child that double the number. So double of 1 is 2. Double of 2 is 4. So even a small child can tell you that it will be 24. Now again, if it would be multiplied by 12 times 4, so you have to teach them that it is just doubling two times. So 24 double is 48. They can do separate, separate also. And if it is multiplied by eight, you can again double this number 48 to get 96. This is a very, very important step in creating a foundation for mental maths, how to visualize the multiplication table. Let's start with number eight. So when we are writing multiplication table of eight, what you write? zero, one, two, three, four. You repeat four, five, six, seven, eight. Here what you do, you write all the even numbers in opposite. Eight, six, four, two, zero. Again, eight, six, four, two, zero. Many child which I teach them, so they find very difficult to learn eight and nine table. So at the very stage, if you tease them this way, no, they are very happy and slowly they are able to learn it. But at the very beginning, they are very, very afraid. So just introduce this method to them. Now nine, similarly nine also we can write this interesting way. So what we have to do here for writing the nine table, so for nine, what you have to do, you have to write zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you have to repeat the counting number from opposite. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So this is how you can write the nine table. Okay, now suppose we are doing 19 table. So what you need to do, you write one, three, we are writing the odd number this time, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, right? And after that counting number, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, see? how easily the child can remember. When I was a small, I was finding very difficult to remember the 19 table. So it was very difficult for me, but now I know the method and I can do it magically. So now let's try for any number like 12. How to find the multiplication table of these numbers? So what we are going to do, see carefully, it is very important. And from this technique, you can write any multiplication number from 12 to 99. So what we are going to do, write a table of one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. And then what we are going to do, we are writing here two tables. 
4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 okay and then what we have to do we have to put a line here these one will get added so see very these numbers you don't have to do straightforward you get the answer 12 24 36 48 these two will be added 60 then 72 then 84 then 96 then 108 and then 120 you can do any number let's try for 51 so write the five table. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. You can go till 50 or if you want, you can go ahead also. Here now you see, you have to write one table. So two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten so here it will be added so you see you don't need to do anything you get the answer straight forward so our answer come 51 102 because here are single digit number till here so straight forward we are getting our answer we don't need to do anything 306 357 408 459 and 510. Okay, let's try. So at home, you give your child to try from 21 or 11 to every child know. So from 21 to 91, I think every child can write this because one is very easy. And if they know till nine, they can do it till 21 to 91 very easily. Now let's take 33, suppose. So you write three table. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And then you again repeat the three table. Only thing you have to just tell your child to be careful by doing a line here and adding this numbers. So the answer come 33, 66, 99, 132, 165, 198, then 231 here, 264, 297 and 330. They can have a check, last number, whatever be the last number, it will end with a zero. So if you have done correctly, it will end with a 330. So now you tell any child to write multiplication table and very fun way, I tell you very fun way, they will be happily writing any table. Even you tell for 97, 96, any number, they will be happily doing. There are other techniques also. This is not a Vedic math techniques. This is a, a very, very magical trick, I can say, to master the multiplication table. There is a vinculum method also to find faster multiplication table. But for that, you have to understand what are vinculum numbers. I will just make a different video for little higher student means who are very smart and they don't want to waste time in writing nine table and then seven table and then mixing. They don't want to waste time. So they can do directly by using vinculum, even like higher numbers, like suppose 98, just they can write it in a go. Just very easily they can write using the vinculum method we'll cover in the other video. So thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.